Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the background for your Android application using the Android Studio. So to change your background, just go to your XML file of your activity and then in the parent layout, just add this line of code. That is background and your IE would suggest some command and it is Android background then go to the draw level folder and as my ID suggested and then choose the file that you want to set as your background. Now I already have a file called background.jpg in my drawable folder of my apps so the Android Studio is going to take that as my background and when I switch to design you can see that now my app has a background and which is an artwork of a PDF file game. Now, how to, in case you're wondering how to do I add this image to the drawable folder, then here's how to do it. It's pretty easy. Just go to your app, in this case, which is my application. It would be stored somewhere like Android Studio Projects, wherever your Android Studio Projects are stored, or in case you are using some ID, then I don't know where they are stored, but you would probably be able to find that pretty easily. Then just go to the app folder, then to the SRC, then to the main, then to the rest, then to the drawable. And this is your drawable folder that you can access from within your app and where you can store any file that you want to be displayed in your app. So in this case, I already pasted a background.jpg file here and then I use this command to draw this background and to be used as background. Now this method, though it seems pretty easy, is pretty flawed. Now why do I say that? Because as soon as you change your orientation to landscape, then you can see since my image was already kind of portrait oriented, so as soon as, as I switch to the landscape mode, the image gets totally stretched and to, goes totally out of aspect ratio, and which is not quite good to look at. So. What's the solution? The solution is to not use this command and I rather suggest just delete it and never use it to set your background because not only that, um, not only that flaw that I mentioned, there's another drawback of using this command. Let me just use it again. Let me just um, use control C to get that back. Okay. So, as you can see that I have my background right now, but if I try to paste some, let's say some text over here, and you can see that the text is quite not visible because of the strange background that I've picked. So um, if you don't use this command, that is the Android background, and instead use this alternative to set the background to your images, you can find a way around both of the flaws that I mentioned and that is to use an image um, sorry that is to use an image view as your background let me just delete this text view right here then go to your image view add that and then go to and here just enter fill parent then the height should also fill the parent and in the source of your image view right here just enter that same command to draw the fold, um, background from the drawable folder okay so that should do the trick now as you can notice that there is some space right here and right here so to avoid that just go to this command called scale type which is right above the src and then to center crop now center crop is the best way to adjust your background because what it does is it maintains the aspect ratio and just uses the part of the image that can be displayed on the device uh, according to the device's resolution so in case uh, the device has a pretty good resolution that it will be able to display more part of the picture however if a device has a smaller resolution then the image will be just uh, uh, cropped or maybe let's just say only we will be able to see only some zoomed in part of the picture now the best part of using this command is as i mentioned earlier now if you switch to the landscape mode 
you can see that the image has not gone out of you know aspect ratio and it has not just become compressed really compressed or really tight from the uh, height or the width so it is pretty good however you can notice that the image that I pick is not good because it just it isn't taking the important part of the image in focus but anyways this is the best way to set up your background because at least the user won't have to look at some compressed background image so that's this one is really attractive to the eye now another flaw that i mentioned was that if you put some plain text over it and let me just use large text instead of that okay so if you just paste some large text over it now let me just zoom in a little uh, i told you that you couldn't see that now if you use an image view then what you can use is you can use the command called alpha and what it does is it sets the opacity of the picture now if you use uh, you can use values from 0 to 1 1 being fully visible or fully opaque and 0 being fully transparent like this the image is one is fully transparent now if i enter a value like 0 0.33 now you can see that the text is quite visible because the image is quite blurred out or out of focus or transparent or whatever you want to call it so this is pretty good because as you must have seen in some pretty big apps that are available in the app store they always use um, these blurring techniques on the background so that the text over them is quite kind of visible and clearly visible now earlier what I used to do was you, I used to use softwares to make the image transparent like this but this is the best part of Android Studio or Android development that they already have these cool features in their, uh, in them that you can use to help you in app development so that's it for today guys I hope this video was of some help to you and in case you like the video don't forget to press, press the like button and why not subscribe also and if you have any question or doubts leave them in the comment section down below and thanks for watching